Hey, I want to talk about Alanthus or Tree of Heaven for a minute. It's a foreign invasive and it's an ugly, useless tree which is often confused with other trees like walnut, ash, hickory, but it has a lot of leafless. This one has like 16 or 17 side-by-side uh, -side leaves on a pinnately compound leaf, okay? So the, there's a lot of leaflets on this thing. So another way to identify it is this time of year in August, there's, if you're going down the road, you'll see these orange fruiting bodies, okay? Very telltale signs, like a yellow orange color uh, on the females. I don't have any on these. What happened in my yard here is that I, I cut a few down and then when you cut one down, you get five back or maybe 10 back. Uh, any kind of open space, they'll just take over the whole area. And you'll notice that where you see them, they're clonal and they, they just, they're extremely invasive and aggressive. So if you see it on your property, you need to kill it and don't try to cut it down. You need to cut it off and treat the stump or you need to hack and squirt uh, use garline or uh, polaris uh, that's uh, triclopyr and amazapyr you can also hack and squirt with just some straight glyphosate squirt some glyphosate in there this time of year is a great time of year to do it it'll suck that glyphosate down into the roots and kill all the the underground part of the tree. Uh, identify Alanthus with this notch. You see this? If, if you're confused and you think, well, that, I wonder if that's a walnut. There's a little notch in the leaf. Let me see if I can find a better example. Let me turn this around. You see that little notch right there? Alanthus has that notch, so as soon as you see that, you know it's it's uh, an Alanthus. That when you break off a leaf and smell it, a lot of times it'll have sort of a, a rotten peanut butter type of smell. This one doesn't have it, but a lot of times it'll, it'll smell like peanuts. The bark uh, reminds you of the skin of a cantaloupe. Now, Alanthus, because of that smooth skin, uh, the spotted lanternfly likes to lay its eggs on there. They're from the same part of the world, so they have a, a relationship. And they, the, the spotted lanternfly lays an egg mass on there. And one way to get rid of the spotted lanternfly, another invasive pest, is to cut all your trees down and leave one as a bait tree so that the, the lantern flies will lay their eggs on there and you can put insecticide into that tree and poison the, uh, the lantern flies as they feed on the sap of that tree. So that's it for Lanthus. If you see it, kill it. It's no good. This is good though. This is partridge pea which I planted many years ago here and it always comes back and puts out these beautiful purple flowers there's bumblebees eating on it right now I don't see honeybees a lot but I see a lot of bumblebees feeding on it I planted this tree a couple years ago and it's climbing right up the tree that's pretty cool I'm getting beans on it and there's little beans so it's a good wildlife forage, it's a legume, and, and it's native. So, beautiful flower to it. So you can see I got a little bit of work to do here in my yard. 